What's up guys? So um, I had a few requests about breaking down the new song Para and Par. So I decided to open up Ableton, which is my current favorite software at the moment for making my music. I tend to start with the breakdown. I call it the breakdown, but it's like the drop section. I tend to start with like the bit with the most music, with the most drums and the most kind of like the, the pinnacle moment of the song. And then I kind of go from there and I wanted to get like a very authentic um, Bangladeshi kind of sample or vibe. So I went and listened to a bunch of songs and Junaid, um, who's on the song with me, Junaid Mia, shout out to him. He suggested, he actually played me a bunch of songs and then I went through it and I was like, you know what? I really like this vibe. So I got, we got this sample. Now apparently that's Junaid's uncle, but who knows if he mean if it's his real uncle, but anyway. Everyone has an uncle that can sing though, to be fair. But um, yeah, really good vocalist. Really cool. And all I did was just uh, added a bit of auto-tune. Um, he doesn't need it, but just gives it that kind of just tucks everything in. I added some compression, Renaissance pack, some SSL channel stuff, just some top end stuff, JJP. This has loads of parallel compression, so it just helps me to like make things a bit thicker. Cause if you, if you ever have a vocal that's really thin, just add loads of parallel compression. That's actually my sound. I use a lot of parallel compression on the vocals. Some OTT just to make it sound a bit wider, some reverb, nothing crazy. H delay, nothing crazy there, but I kind of use some hip hop drums. So I used, um, I don't know if you can hear that. What I, what I tend to do is like throw in like loads of different grooves and then I build around that. So that added that and then I added, because you know I love kind of Middle Eastern instruments. Every time you throw Middle Eastern instruments, because they're very groovy and very percussive with like trap or hip hop like samples, I just don't know what it does. It just somehow always seems to work. But the hardest thing of the drop, which is like the most important thing is getting the kick and the bass right. So um, I use this 808 sample. And then I found a kick, it's called Space Cadet. The trick with 808 and kicks is that you wanna make sure they're filling out different frequencies and not they're not clashing together. So the kick can't be in the same frequency as the bass. So if we look at, if we use the spectrum analyzer, we can see where the peak is and it's about 60 Hertz. So then we use the spectrum analyzer on the kick and you can see, you can see that that's around 112 Hertz. There's enough space for the kick to, to, to sit and there's enough space for the, the, ba the bass to, ki to sit. So if you put them together, you can see that's the kick and you can see the bass is there. So they've got their own pockets and I think that's the trick. Plug-in wise, I just added like some satin, some saturation to the kick. I added some samples on top of that and then another one. And then if you pair that with the kick and the bass, sounds a bit like this. And then that cool Bangladeshi sample uh, I threw on top. Oh, and I added some snaps, because I think snaps make everything sound cool. You know I love plucks at the moment, that's like my thing, I just love plucks. I started with the Spire plugin, which I absolutely love, because it's proper old school. And then for the verses, I kept it more straight. So you know. Yeah, so that kind of differentiates between the verse and the drop. So if you've noticed, I've simplified everything. So I, I moved some stuff over. So we've still got the snaps, we've still got these, but I added some different groove. I actually created this drum loop. So um, I layered the plucks. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Um, if you guys want to know, I use the Pluck Midnight Pack from the main room warehouse Future Tropical Pack. I've used these plucks on pretty much like all of my whole new album and like a lot of songs. I, I did a song called Gotta Go and I pretty much used all these. You can't say I don't show you the treasure. In the verse, I added a, a different groove. So like more of like a dancehall bashment groove. Nothing clever about kicks. There's nothing I'm doing to the kick other than 
a slight bump in the 53 hertz. Cool, so we got the we got the kick. Um, threw in the sample again, but this time around, um, I used the formant in Little Alter Boy, and I just pulled the formant down, added a bit of drive, and added a bit of kickstart and some compression. That same triplet E groove. I'm using a lot of sort of clipped sounds, like really in your face sounds. Um, this is like this is from the Plek pack, which is it's like a Mumbaton pack. So I just threw that in there. And then on the second part, again, feels like it's going somewhere. I just, I like doubled the kick. So it went from like, and then I just went four to the floor. Didn't do anything else, really. I made the idea in Ableton, and then I went over to Logic. So same beat, I just threw in to Logic, but then I added. So I've got a lot of sounds that I've saved over the years in Logic, so I just, I'm able to just go on the left and find like my favorite sounds. So you can see the Ableton export. And then I pretty much just added a few other elements on top. So some plucks, more plucks. I just keep layering pluck after pluck after pluck. Yeah, oh, I did add one more thing. That's really cool, I'm really proud of that. I found some really cool samples of claps and then consolidated them. Without the claps, it just sounds like a really amateur. But I feel like if you add the claps, just more and more grooved. Anyway, the vocals, let's move on to the vocals. Is what I actually do, I use Vocal Rider just to kind of make sure everything's like level. If you look at number three, that's usually like a, a, a thousand hertz. The 1K area of the vocal tends to be quite honky and quite nasal and doesn't sound very good, so we just cut that out and then got rid of some of the lows. I use CLA vocals a lot. Uh, they've got this kind of cool thing which helps CPU probably as well. Um, and I use the push compression, some roof treble and some sub. Speaking of parallel compression, I used a bus, so I went bus and I went to number nine. There's something going on here. And I've been using the Slate plugins, Slate digital plugins. So I just used the vocal pop vocal preset. And I'll show you actually without the parallel compression what it sounds like. So let's solo the vocals. Your mama from the Bay of Bengal. She a Betty from the East. She won that part of So that's kind of how it was sounding with just the plugins that I've used, like leveling it up. And then I add some compression. Parallel. Your mama from the Bay of Bengal. She a Betty from the East. You're probably thinking, what's the difference? But in the mix, it just brings everything slightly to the forefront. What it does is it just adds essentially a lot more energy to the vocal. And then I'm using this a lot, the CLA Epic, which has kind of come out recently, because what they're doing is they're, they've got like five plugins in one and they're adding like, you can see here, they're adding tape, delay, throw delay, slap delay. Essentially, they're just different, different delays with different times. That in the mix, if I take the parallel compression off, you'll see there's not much difference. But as the music, as, as the beat fills up, this bit here, you know, it just pushes everything to the forefront. The other thing I did with Janae's vocals, because Janae obviously is a, is a different kind of singer, he's got quite a lot of husk, he's, he's quite, got quite an in interesting voice actually. Again, vocal rider just to kind of level his vocals out. And then um, I kind of had to use this plugin. I don't tend to use this on my voice because I'm, I'm a very compressed singer, but he's, he tends to quite push quite a lot as well. So I had to, the, when you push a little bit more as a performer, you tend to, some of the harsher frequencies in your voice. Everyone has this. It's, it's not like he's got a harsh voice or anything, but everyone has harsh frequencies in their voice, but everyone has these frequencies in different parts like there's no like one trick pony so don't just start cutting 4k thinking you're going to sound better um but i'll show you with it engaged so like if i push it you can hear that it's around that kind of 3.9 4k there's like that kind of that kind of weird you can actually see where the the, the peaks are around that area and it's just really harsh. I put that on there, um, which kind of helped with it. Soothed, soothed it, as the plugin says on the, it soothed his vocals. 
And then I used um, this new studio rack from Waves um, and I basically just like added a bunch of plugins. So this is what it sounds like when um, I've layered all the sounds from Logic and Ableton and it kind of comes together and it sounds like this. So if you've got any questions, um, if you want any more videos and breaking down more of my music, um, then just let me know, shoot me a message on the socials and I'll be happy to help you guys. Also, before I forget, go and check out the song Parampar with Janae Mia out on my YouTube channel. Go and check out the music video and let me know what you think.